Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I finally get to start up my coverage of Masquerada Songs and Shadows. It is by Witching Hour Studios and Ease Bride Games. It releases this Friday, September 30th, 2016. So if you guys like what you see in this first video or two while we go through the tutorial slash prologue, well, uh, you guys can grab it this Friday. It's going to be great. And then you get to see me come over here and start new game on Friday, and it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait, guys. I've been following this for a very, very long time. I've been sending them emails. I've been harassing them on Twitter. I've wanted to get my hands on this game. I finally do. I'm a little bit sad, though. I was hoping to be among the first, and maybe I still am, but I saw some other LPers actually get the game before me, and I was like, no! So it made me pretty sad. I was, I was actually bummed out all yesterday when I didn't get it till today. I was like... Nobody loves me, poor Bumpy. Anyway, I passed the pity party, guys and gals. What is Masquerada Songs and Shadows? It's a game, and we're going to play it. No, uh, it's a very heavy story-driven or narrative uh, story-driven RPG with real-time combat and tactical pause. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys and gals. We're going to stop babbling. We're going to start playing. Let's begin. And we're loading. Apparently, we have a percentage of loading. Anyway, so this is my first time playing. I've been excited. I have screwed up my intro like 40 times. I'm ready. I think I got it this time. We're going to go for it. I've never actually seen the loading screen before, so this is a step in the right direction for me. All right, let's begin, shall we? We're at 100%. What are we waiting for? Let me play! I'm not normally this over-the-top, guys. I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm amped up. This is in my wheelhouse, and it's on my computer. It's in my hands, and we're ready to rock it out. It's going to be good. Anyway, let's begin. Cyrus, we're in. Save your relief, Amadea. We're not out of the flames yet. Cyrus, we must keep moving. Bretha, secure the West Wing. Come. We must head to the Hall of Bearings. There are still some of us that are unarmed. R really? Who, who, who's unarmed? All of them look like they have weapons. All right, whatever. Uh, WASD to move. Ooh. Or right click to move. Oh, snippity snap! Like, I have not played this at all yet, guys and gals. I am pretty stoked, I gotta say. I'm like super fired up to showcase this. This is awesome. Look at it, look at it, we're just running around. Everybody's got a weapon, even he's got a weapon, so I, I don't, it's fine. Press E or left click on the floating icon to interact. Okay, we can move around again. Alright. We, of course, don't want to head to the one spot that we're supposed to. Now, this might bite us in the butt. Like, it could be. Like, I would be one of those, if I was developing a game, I'd be like, all right, guys, follow my tutorial. And if they chose not to, I would totally murder them. It would just be like, hey, you know what? You should, and it, it'd be a parody, you know? It would be funny, but I'd be like, you know what? You guys totally should have listened to what I said. I put an icon there for you to go to. You decided to go do other things. Whose fault is it that you're dead right now? Yours. That's right. Your fault. So, eh, I don't know. That's just me. I have a sadistic sense of humor. I can't help it. It's for all those people that want to explore, like, all right, you got to head northwest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to hit pause. Right-click on an enemy to attack. Okay. Your party members automatically acquire enemy targets in range. That's fantastic. Some games don't have that. The red bar represents a party member's health. Okay, down there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, use 1 through 4 for skills. Some skills require a target or a target point. Ice Blade. Strikes the target with an ice imbued blade. Activates elemental... Is that tags? Uh, cold Stream Wash. Rush forward on a trail of water. Enemies along the caster's path take damage. Turn slower and receive a winter tag. And then Ice Blast. Oh, we are totally going to use that. The yellow bar represents focus, which absorbs incoming damage. Oh, that's awesome. And the yellow arc around the character's feet denotes the shielded area. Oh, okay, so it's just right in front, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, I'm not ready yet. Do it! Yeah! Oh, that was amazing. Oh, I'm so good at this game. No, I'm kidding, guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, they really don't like me at all. They're like, nope. Try flanking an enemy to avoid your damage being blocked. Yeah, I would like that. That would be fun. 
What about you? Oh, we can totally use you too. Alright, what do you have, buddy? You've got Convergence. Blasted enemy with dirt and dust. Target becomes interrupted and receives an earth something. Run like the wind, Binky! Try flanking. I'm, I'm trying to flank an enemy. It's just not working very well. They seem very, very, very angry at me. Alright. Slide on through. Slide, slide, slip this slide. Let's get this done. Alright, get you out of the range of this guy murdering people. We're doing okay. We're, we're blocking most incoming damage and whatnot, so that's cool. Interrupted! Get dirty or something. I, I, don't, I got nothing. Alright, we did it. It was, it was a bit messy, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, there's a staircase. Doesn't seem to lead anywhere, though. Alright. I imagine the same thing. Spiral staircase on this side doesn't lead any. Oh, well, maybe this one does. Nope. Alright, so no reason to explore in the tutorial yet. Maybe soon, but not yet. Alright, let's go here. The White Spire, Hall of Bearings. Okay. Well, this looks like this is gonna get messy. You guys ready? You ready for some mess? I am. Run! No! Stop them! No! Stop them! All right, buddy, get on in there. All right. I think we're gonna do something like this. Press spacebar to enter and exit tactical pause during combat. While in tactical pause mode, you can issue commands. You can also pan the camera around freely in pause mode. Excellent. Pressing spacebar again will return you to real-time combat. Or return your combat to real-time, I suppose. Get dirty did. Oh, did one of our guys fall too? Oh, he did. That's not good. Probably avoid stuff like that. And victory, I guess? In the heat of battle, party members might go down. Revive fallen party members during combat by right clicking on them. Oh, that would have been good to know. But it does take quite a long time. Okay, good to know. I guess it was scripted for him to fall, maybe? Or I just did a really bad job. Damn it! They've tunneled too far in. We can chase them. Forget it. There are more than enough masquerades here. Both of you take all you can and bring them to the troops. I will tell Invidious. He should be done with... Liz? What? Cyrus, I'm not going anywhere. Not before that bastard is killed. Neither am I. Both of you, listen. If we are to stand any chance at winning this, our men need these masquerades. So let Invidious take them. And what if Portieri await him on the way back? Tell me you trust him or anyone else to defend against them. Cyrus. Honestly. No. Then go. And Amadea? I can fight, Cyrus. I know you can. Which is why you need to go with Lysandra and Invidious. They'll take care of you. But... No buts, Amadea. Now go, both of you. I will be back with reinforcements. Don't you dare do anything foolish without me, Cyrus Gavar. Understand? Cyrus. Yes. Now go. Coo, 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 coo. All right, who's you this guy? You don't mean that, uh. do you, sir? Oh, I mean it. But understanding and complying are two different things, Nal. She's not going to be happy with you, sir. <laughs> the number of times I've heard that. I didn't know what any of this means. It's okay. But it's fine. We're, we're, we're fine. Alright, so shiny beam of light. Okay, apparently we're backtracking now. And there's some dude just standing on the other side of the wall. It's also weird. Oh my. 
okay, apparently we're starting combat in a weird way this time around. Alright, let's go and hit him with a bolt of doom here. Press tab or F1 to F3 to switch between party members during combat. That is a little bit safer than right-clicking. Interrupted, alright. I feel like we should probably head over there and deal with some stuff. Block that, fool. And wrecked. Alright, so we're really tearing these guys to shreds right now. It is quite good. Well done, peeps. Well done. What now, sir? We aim for the heart. Avestus will be trying to escape. We cannot let that happen, and we cannot afford to wait for Lysandra's return. He will be long gone by then. We must do it ourselves. That sounds dangerous, sir. No, we have broken into the heart of the White Spire. There are few lines of danger we have left to cross. Well, sir, if this is how it has to be, then let us do it. Thank you, Null, and your men as well. Umber will remember this when they fashion the laws of freedom. But not you, sir. Come on. We have a man to kill. Huh. Must kill a man! Onward, my peasant army! I don't, I, don't, I don't think they're actually peasants, but they could be. There's no guarantee of that. The White Spire Upper Hallway. Cyrus, it doesn't have to end this way. I am truly sorry. Go, sir! We've got you covered! Oh wow, we just had to run past and go after him in like a duel type situation. Did he go up or down? Oh, he went over here. Well, I thought he went over there. Some abilities apply elemental tags to affected enemies. When an elemental tag is active, additional effects are invoked. The type of elemental... The type... The elemental type of the activated tag determines the invoked effect. Okay. Use a cold stream to wash... Cold stream wash to apply a water tag on the enemy. Use signature attack to activate water tag to deal a burst of damage. Alright. So essentially, water rush and then burst him down with a smacky poop. Alright, that is done. And now we're going to go and hit you with that. And once again, we're going to blast you with this. And we're going to water right over you and down you go, sir. Alright, interestingly enough. Come on, man, look at our raggedy, uh... Ooh, what's this? Increased attack speed, huh? Alright, let's use Q. Is that a buff? No, it just we just went crazy. Okay, but it's got a long wind up there. Sorry, guys. I was looking. I'm like, what is that? What is happening right now? It still seems to be active. Maybe. I'm not sure, though. The Spire. Oh, who's this? What? Where is Avestus? Safe. The corridors of the registry are twisted. You know that. Just like its leader. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. And you know it. Just because you have that cape on your shoulder doesn't mean that you are blind to the injustices of this broken city. Cyrus, please. You know its insides are corrupt, its ways foul. And even if I did, what then? We are but single entities, Cyrus. How much can one person hope to achieve? Nothing by themselves. But with people who believe in them, who believe with them. I'm sorry. Lucia, please. You have already cost the city too much. This must end. Well, that can't be good. All right, Lucia, get wrecked. You know who you're up against? Oh, never mind. I think we pooped ourselves when we got knocked down there. That wasn't great. I am so sorry, my friend. 
Have you any last words? The city needs to change, Lucia. Goodbye, Cyrus Gavar. Dang, that's some cold stuff right there. can't be good all right ladies and gentlemen hey we get to actually do we do get to start the new game cool I wasn't sure I thought we were just gonna be able to play through the prologue ah, I'm pretty stoked sweet we get to start right now all right folks well let's hop in and begin for realsies we can go on super hard difficulty no I'm kidding uh, let's see what the actual ones are story mode is the easiest difficulty setting it is meant for players new to the genre or who just want to play for the story enemies have less hit points and have longer cooldowns on abilities Normal is a difficulty that is perfect for players that are looking for a gameplay experience that is neither too hard nor too easy. And then hard is for the people that are insane, that salivate at the slightest hint of battle, that kill their own babies just for sustenance. No, not, not that stuff. The hard difficulty setting is designed for players looking for a challenge. Enemies have an increased damage output, and some battles involve larger numbers of enemies. Yeah, no, I'm going to be a coward. I'm going to go with normal. Not a super coward, but just like a regular coward. We're going to go with normal. We're going to play through. We're going to have a blast. We're going to have a lot of fun. And, oh, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Ah, oh, i going to get them knuckle cracks in, boys. Ships, ships, ships. Nowhere else in a midnight belt are there so many damn ships. Is it true, though? You say a moment you lay eyes on that city, a demon possesses you. It's where all magic comes from, they say. Hey. They also say the pipe will kill you. Yet, here we are. Yeah. The whole trip I tried not to, Cicero. But you made a promise. Going back here ain't gonna do you no good. I made a promise to my parents, too. To feed them. Give them a better life. I need the money, Varl. And the question is, are you willing to pay with your soul for it? I suppose we'll find out. Into the shadows we go. Breathe it in, Cicero. The smell of a bad decision. Ah, smells like runic spices to me. And sewage. Yeah, you joke about it now. Relax, Varl. I'll see you in a five day. I promise. I promise. If you break it, I swear to our seven sisters that I'll come down to the pits myself to wrangle your skinny neck. I'll see you when I see you, Captain. Pits or no. Pits or no. All right. Varl and the Amrita and Amre or Amber. Amber. I can't remember how they pronounced it, but stay out of trouble, citizen. I will try. I will try to stay out of trouble. All right, so apparently, my best guess, ladies and gentlemen, is that... Huh, I wonder why these are highlightable, yet I can't do anything to them. Eh, 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 eh. Anyway, my best guess is get out of the way, cat. Um, we're the brother, or the son, or something along those lines, of the guy who just got a big hole through his chest. So there's that. So we're Cicero, and good old uh, Cyrus is no longer. All right, we have a codex here. Oh, that looks like it's got a bunch of information. Others. Varl and the Amaritha. Few can understand the relationship between a captain and his ship. It's a love of a sort found in few other places. 
Perhaps the closest relationships I can think of to parallel it would be of those between a tinker and his tools or a blacksmith and his smithy. But no, looking at Varl and his ship, you'd realize that that wouldn't quite do. The first time I met Varl, he'd been screaming at one of the crewmen for chipping aboard alongside the Emerita. The poor lad was shouldering a shipment of pole arms from Tessera and had grazed the hull of the ship. I learned later that this was not an uncommon occurrence, a nick on a mast, a scuff on a floorboard, and off the rails he'd go, screaming and yelling, throwing things about. No one ever got seriously hurt, but considering the vigor and passion with which he'd berate his crew, one would think they chopped off a toe of his or burned off an eyebrow. And perhaps in some sense, they, might as, they may as well have. Uh, the Emerita was as much a part of him as any of his limbs. His love for the Emerita went far beyond simple fondness. He'd integrated it into his existence. It had entwined himself with the threads that formed his identity. Any offense against the ship was a direct offense against him. Some would say that a craftsman is only as good as his tools. I'm inclined to say that this man has taken it eh, quite a step further. All right, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you'll give me one quick second here. Oh, I guess I can't do that. I was going to try to adjust the volume on a Windows. Oh, hey, I can actually use it. Okay, cool. I was unable to actually access this before. All right, I'll be able to play around with that between this episode and the next, guys and gals. I'll get a better mix, hopefully. Uh, lower the music just a little bit and raise the voices, because I had to lower the Windows volume a bit. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Relax. You are the coach hands I was told to expect? That's us. Elena Toth, sir. Ricardo Toth, at your service. The coach is nearby? Just a minute this way, sir. Alright, sweet. The Toth twins. Onward! You guys have anything to say to me? No? You guys want to talk? Hey, oh, want to hang out? I don't like your hair. Alright, we're leaving. The docks. Well, it doesn't look like there's a not a good day. It doesn't look like there's a lot that we can like interact with here. I mean, I'm okay with that, but oh, we can kick. The, oh, we can play kick the the jug, guys, or the bottle, I guess. Yeah. Ugh. Can we score a goal? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, that's kind of cool. We can walk through all this. Yeah, knocking stuff around. I always enjoy uh, interactable uh, environment. It's fun, fun stuff. Gotta love the, like, beautiful scenery here, guys and gals. This game just looks so incredibly good. I love every seconds of it. It just, it's, it's so good looking. It's so good looking. Shout out and kudos to the artists and whatnot. They have done a very good job. Ooh, oh, we can knock the fruit around. Oh, it's so good. I know, there's very little stuff that we interact with right now, but I'm still loving every second of it. There's a chicken over there. I bet we could chase him if he was out here. I mean, we are known to be chicken chasers, after all. Oh, uh, let's see here. I heard the traitor was coming back. You keeping an eye out? I may be. I almost wish you could sprint, but at the same time, I'm sort of glad you can't, because I don't really want to ruin the uh, experience. The docks of Ombre. That's what I want to call it, is Ombre, but it's like Ombre or something like that. It just, it looks like, hey, hombre, how's it going? You know, you get the Wild West feel, which would be completely, totally, and utterly wrong. Oh, no, this is going to take a while. Yeah, it is. Uh, he's not going to be happy. Well, we could tell him that the cats ate all the apples. Look at it. Why are, why are women over here doing it? Like, what, how did that even happen? How is that a thing? That broke? But how did this get, like, on top? I don't... Eh. I don't know how that's possible. Not much of a war, really. Be glad war doesn't feed us. I am glad war doesn't feed us. Oh, look, there's the coach or the carriage or what have you. This looks like an armored car over here. Let me go, let me go. They're trapping me in. There's the twins. We're going to avoid them for now. I just kind of want to explore the city and see what's around. And it looks like we're going to get some more entries into our little codex of awesome here. But his brother was on our side. Factions, press L to view. L. Cool. The citizens of Amber are classified broadly into two categories. The what? The Kant the Kant the Kant Adani, the Kant Adani and the Masquerada. Those without uh masquerines and those with, respectively. Alright. The Masquerada themselves are divided further into the Registry and the Samoria, the latter of which comprises the six guilds of the city. 
This is a, th or there is a third faction not often spoke of until recent years, the Mask Runners. An encompassing term that refers to all owners of masquerines who are, or sorry, who refuse to align themselves with any of the Samora or the Registry and consist of dozens of smaller factions that exist too multitudinally, tudinously, sorry, to the to be chronicled here. Okay, well I'm sorry guys, I'm probably going to butcher a lot of the reading out of this. I'll try not to, but I have a bad feeling that this is going to be like super difficult because it's, you know, it's it's a little bit of a, like a, I, I don't want to say a forgotten language, but a less used language with odd words and just made up things or uh, variations of things that aren't made up, so there's no telling. Anyway, folks, I think I'm going to break out the first episode here. In the next episode, we will continue with our adventures, and it looks like I can actually play the game for realsies and not just the tutorial, so I'm pretty stoked and excited by that, and I am going to be playing this a lot over the course of the next week, and who knows. I think this may move into one of my main series, and we'll just have fun with it. Like I said, I've been looking forward to this for a very long time, and I am super stoked to finally have my hands on it, and we're going to continue it. Until the day we die. No, until we beat it, actually. But that's that's beside the point. All right, folks. Until the very next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you guys want more information about the game, the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video. Links everywhere where to get it. All of that stuff. Down below in the description of the video. I hope you guys had a blast. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later.